Good morning everybody, it's a long time since I've made a video. I've been kindly invited along by a local friend and runner, Sally Bruce. She has launched a fantastic new business idea. Her business is called Skedaddle North. I will get Sally to explain way more than I can explain just now. I'm really excited, it's Saturday morning. The guys were actually here yesterday, I couldn't make it on the Friday because I was working. So, there's some guests already here. We're going to go in, meet Sally and the guests and find out what's on today's agenda. I'll leave you with the beautiful and stunning Duffus Castle and we'll go see the gang. Hi! Hello. Good <laughs> Welcome! So here we are at the Duffus farmhouse. Come on in, I'll show you around. Yeah. This is going to be your accommodation for the weekends. The skedaddle north. So this is the kitchen. Fabulous farmhouse kitchen. Yeah, eight chairs. Fantastic. All the mod cons. Let's go. We've got a lovely cosy boiler room for all your muddy trainers oh. and stuff. So yeah, there they get go. kept in there. This is a stunning bathroom. Come on in here. Not that you'll have much time to indulge in it. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted to. Lovely roll top bath. Yeah, it's fab. This oh. is amazing. It is amazing. We've got a lovely sitting room area here with the wood burner, keep you nice and cosy, especially at this time of year. And definitely a room with a view. Take a look out that window. There you go. Stay out there. So down here we've got two double bedrooms. Cool. So this is the first one here. Nice and mm. spacious. Lots of room. Yeah. Good Excellent. We'll go upstairs and have a look at the twin rooms. So if you want to come with a friend, we can share the twin rooms. Lovely and cosy. Room for two. And again, we wake up to that view in the morning. Beautiful. And then we've got twin room number two. Twin room number two. The lovely cosy rooms. Fab. And then again, another amazing view. And then we've got a double room in here, which to me is like one of the best rooms. Again, a room with a view there. And it looks spectacular. That'll be the last thing you see at night and the first thing you see in the morning. Not bad. <laughs> here comes the crew. So we're down here in Krugelike, just getting gear ready. Here's a gong, ready to go. Hey. <laughs> it's all right, I seen you go at the top, I thought, am I in the wrong? No, I'm not in the wrong place. <laughs> Olive is in the wrong place. <laughs> I was going to be in the new house. <laughs> <laughs> Quite right, it's easy to miss though. <laughs> Morning everybody. Good morning everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Skedaddle North. Skedaddle North. Down in Craig Ellicke. We're on the Speyside Way here. We're heading towards Abelour. There's five oh, of us. Good. We're all ready to go. Yes. Yes, we're absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I love running. <laughs> hey. He always has and always will. <laughs> and we're off. Let's go. See you later. Transport is coming and following us along. Ollie's coming with the supplies, the important supplies. Yeah. <laughs> first aid though. Hopefully no first aid today though. <laughs> Heading to Abelour, which is about a couple of miles away. 20. 20 miles away. <laughs> which will be our first little stop. First bit is you just come out of Craig Ellicke, you get a nice view along the river Spey. Here we go. If, you, if you're looking for a, this way. <laughs> an early pit stop, you can go for a pint in there. <laughs> I think it would be a bit, bit, bit too early it's for a, a pint. Early. A bit early for a pint. <laughs> if you're here for a mini break, <laughs> then, then I would say, why not? Coming down here is one of the probably most photographed bridges in the area, if not the most photographed bridge in the area. One of the most iconic iron bridges in the world, civil engineers 
American Institute rate this one with the Golden Gate Bridge. Amazing. So we're very lucky to have it on our doorstep. And here it is. So you get photos this side or when you go over here and round anyway, but you can get the other side as well. Heading up onto the bridge. So our, our official photographer, he's just nipped off yeah, into place. Into place. <laughs> Oh, he's like, oh, he's running. Come on, PJ. Find a friend. Hey. Hello, buddy. Hello. Hello. Come on in. Hello. 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 Super, guys. Rubber behind you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey, bud. <laughs> you go look. Hello. You go look. So we're just passing Abelower just now, and uh, the old Abelower railway station just behind us. When there used to be a railway here and then I've just got the wee suspension bridge that we're going to go over in a minute. Here comes Steve, Steve's just done a couple of laps. Uh, <laughs> just, killing just, just killing time, like just killing time. How's everyone feeling? Great! So far so good. Where are we heading to next? We're off towards Carden. We're off to Carden next. We've got Carden with us but it's a, it's a different Carden. A different Karen, so <laughs> we're not running to Karen because she's just there. <laughs> <'Cause if> we, <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's a race, <laughs> and uh, our support crew is coming right behind us. They're in, they're in good form. Look at them, they're marching <laughs> on a mission. On a mission. Penny Bridge. Penny Bridge. Across. Oh no. Nah. See, <laughs> official tour guide. <laughs> oh. What have you? Bridget Carr and we're we're going to look for a boat. <laughs> We have just made it to Carin, or we've, we've actually been here a couple of minutes because we've, we've probably found the greatest phone box in the whole of Scotland. If you go in here, you'll see this PJ is uh, quietly just, he's re replenishing his, himself with some <laughs> delicious treats, all kitted out for your 
I suppose trekking needs, running needs and if you want you can give a little donation, help yourself and you can also pay by PayPal if you believe that. If you can get so if you haven't got any cash with you, don't worry, just get on your phone, log into PayPal, give them a donation and grab yourself some cheese. We're all, we're all snacked up and ready to That's go. That's a but great phone box. <laughs> it is the greatest phone box I've, I really have ever seen. So we're here in Karen and our next stop is further up the road further up the road <laughs> see that, that this was this is what we've loved so secret. far we've been coming along <laughs> the whole route and and i've been on the space highway before but the bit of the space highway which we'd just been on i've never been on before it's so ace. it was absolutely ace. Really and we went up a hill and we're like she's like yeah there's just this hill and the the, the next one and it's not that hilly, it's, it really isn't that hilly, folks. It isn't. <laughs> so don't be put off. If you love hills, then we'll you, come down. You, there isn't that many to go up, I'm afraid. But uh, but not. So this next bit is back onto the space sideway yep. for a couple of miles, and then we've got a wee treat for you at the end. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Might be another hill. Might be another. I don't know. We'll stay tuned for that. <laughs> 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 That's a good shot. <laughs> we've, we've just run the car, dude. <laughs> we're, just, <laughs> we're just coming in. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> destination for the afternoon the running part is done it's for today. <laughs> for today anyway we're going to go on a little tour so yes i would say we have <laughs> <laughs> we've been up to see the, the, the highland cows up there or the coos as we call it down <laughs> yeah, the, hairy the hairy coos and here comes the troops they're all ready to rock and roll heading in and we're going to get a a little look around the distillery. Some of the guys will get a tasting. Unfortunately, I'm driving today, so I'll maybe get a goodie bag. So, we're calling, ready to go. Next week. <laughs> Well, you can't do them on the day, I'm taking you out. So, have you been to any Still Lakes before? Yes. Not for a long time. We'll try and be too far gone. So, um, they're all unique in their own special way, but what makes Cardew unique is that we're the only one that's been built and pioneered by females. So, we've got the soft and gentle touch. Okay. So, you have um, Mark Lift up in this way, one of seven in Dufton. So, you get seven hills and seven stalls. And you guys have done you at home, so from here, about like eight miles down the road. We always get to malt the barley, and we stopped doing this in 1968, so today it's really blue for from the local maltings. Water source, that comes down from the Manic Hills, four miles from here, so down to Holy Dam, then piped into this village. Barley, mainly from Scotland. Okay. That's a big difference. Yeah. Mm. So you could see a new twist in corn just like you've been crushed. Ah. <laughs> Yeah. 
During the march, always move your face slowly, round about two miles an hour by how to keep up the speed. So we've just come through the main tour and now we're going to where everyone gets to go have a taste. <laughs> the good stuff. <laughs> this is a bit that everyone looks forward to on the tour. Interesting. Have you seen the process? Oh, it is. Uh, well, it is a long process, yeah. It's not just a case of putting it in and and then, like you say, sticking it in a barrel for years to, to finally be bottled and sold to the public. <laughs> Tasting part. Although I'm driving later on, so I'll be very sensible. Unfortunately, but I think you could be a driver's video man, you know. Okay, and so. I'm very tempted to uh, skirt it. <laughs> Basically, he's going to neck it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. And you can see. Can you can do it. Look at what we've got here. We're all lined up. Just one. 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 So, the, two you've, the tasting you've chosen to do is the guest do, which is a blind tasting done in blue glasses. So you guys have to actually guess the whiskies I've chosen. We've all got the same whiskies. So what I'll do, I'll talk you through the whiskies. So most people tend to know the Cardew 12 year old, matured in rejuvenated bourbon uh, cask. So this one, if you're looking at the centre wheel here, can I give you an idea? Grassy green, so it's hidden just under that mat there. Uh, fresh fruits, your apples and pears, your floral. So carnation rose coming up to your villa, the honey's just lit under your mat and then a gentle after a pallet of smoke. So that's us just finished our tasting. <coughs> How was that guys? Ooh, Pretty good. good. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if, if you are coming and you are driving, I mean, you see you get to take your little sampling home yours as well. So you, you don't miss out. <laughs> but Jamie, how yes. many have you got? Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm taking home a couple. <laughs> So only, only advice for the wee bottles, you didn't get your doctor. Oh I well we were, we were, we were just saying a little bit dehydrated, oh. really dehydrated. <laughs> Own your doctor. I, I know. Yeah. Remember you but just make a big yes, make sure we get a good thank you to Lorraine. Yes. Uh, enjoy your attack. Thank you very much, Lorraine. Thank you very much. Right. Superb. Well done.